let's do some drawing. We'll make a storyboard. We'll rough it out and then polish it up. Maybe even trace some stuff that we can't draw. Add arrows, dialogue, actions, more detail. And then we can use the frames in other software or make a PDF. For starters, we've got to set up our storyboard with frames the same size as the final video. What the hell is this? Hang on, why am I even using paper? No, not Illustrator. No, 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 not Photoshop. Wanda Unit Storyboarder is free and makes it super easy. If you've got a pen, if you're drawing with a mouse or a trackpad, just don't. In Storyboarder, you rough out your drawing with the light pencil. Then switch to the normal pencil and start giving it some sharper detail. And then you switch to the pen to really clean up the outlines. The beauty of the light pencil, that first one, is that it went to a reference layer. So once you don't need that anymore, you can turn it down. Finally, grab the brush and put some shading in. That'll help it pop. If there's dialogue or action in the shot, write them in here. Or grab the notes pen and draw the action straight onto its own layer as well. One colour for character movement and another for camera movement. So add new shots, draw a new scene, make some notes. Easy, that's it. Actually, that's not it. I want to draw a character standing in the middle. And if you've been here before, you're probably expecting me to go to the shot generator, type in what I need and get a template, trace it, and then trash the template, right? Wrong. My character is a horse. So I found a picture on Pinterest. Hold up. Let's take a second. One, I've got a Pinterest tutorial. You should go watch that. And two, before you do anything, Install a window transparency program, a program that lets you turn any window semi-transparent. I'm on Windows 10 and I use see-through windows. And the default shortcut of Control shift z turns the window see-through. But you'll want to change that shortcut. So I could save the Pinterest horse and I could import it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to position the Pinterest window over my canvas, switch to storyboarder and make the window transparent. Yeah, instant light box. Hang on, I also need someone on the horse. So I'll pop open Design Doll and pose a character. Go back into Storyboarder and boom, tracing magic. Design Doll is a program that's super simple for posing people. And it's free for what I need. But you can use any software or website that you want. So now I'll finish up my storyboard. Maybe I'll do a title frame. Mate, don't, don't draw the text by hand. Just click the edit in Photoshop button. Do it there. That's it. Export the files or make a PDF and you got your storyboard. So why would you want to draw on paper? Actually, if you still want to draw on paper, you can print out a worksheet, do your little drawing and then snap the whole sheet with your phone and boom, it sucks it all in.